Thanks for staying with us. In uh, news just coming in, a second year lateral entry student committed suicide in the city engineering college. Uh, he allegedly committed suicide by strangling himself with a polythene cover. And uh, for more on this, our crime reporter Selim now joins us uh, over the phone line. Selim, what could be the reason for this? Any, any information that you have? Evelyn, the deceased uh, is identified as William Harry. This is the first day of his college. He might have done his polytechnic and joined the second year directly at the engineering college. Sources say that his native is Rajapalayam and that he preferred to stay in hostel and uh, pursue his engineering. More details will emerge as police investigate this case. All right. Uh, have you had a word with any of the college authorities? Could this have been a case of ragging that has led him to do this? As of now, the college authorities are refuting, uh, refusing to speak to the media, but the police say that they have just kick-started the investigation. And as the investigation progresses, we will come to know what exactly has led to his death. All right. Thanks very much indeed, uh, Salim, for joining us with those details. A nationwide shutdown has been called on the 5th of July by the left parties to protest against the fuel price hike. The party leaders met in Delhi this morning. Meanwhile, Tamil Nadu-based parties including uh, the AIA-DMK, CPI, the CPM and the MDMK have issued a joint statement expressing support for the protest. AIA-DMK General Secretary Jay Lalita has announced that her party will lead the protest in the state. They have also called for a public support for the general strike as the fuel price hike is expected to take a toll on the prices of essential commodities as well. The leaders from parties such as the Indian National League, All India Forward Bloc and Move in the Munani Karagam condemned the ruling DMK for not speaking up against the hike. The non-Congress, non-PJP parties met and decided yesterday that on July 5th there must be a total stoppage of work throughout India to protest against the unjustified hike in the fuel prices. And further, we are appealing to the other non-ruling parties in Tamil Nadu to cooperate with us because they also agree that this price hike will create a lot of problems for the working people. Now, it's been a few months since the police busted the spurious drug scam. Our consumer reporter, Bertilla, went around the city to get a reality check on whether the consumers are really cautious now while purchasing medicines. She discovered something really disturbing. Take a look. More than a dozen drug manufacturing companies lost their licenses after the spurious drug scam hit the state. But despite the vigilant efforts by the government to curb this menace, NDTV Hindu found that the situation still remains unchanged for many consumers. They blindly purchase medicines without checking the expiry dates. And the reason? They don't understand English. The Tamil Nadu government, which has recently taken many initiatives to promote the language, isn't really keen to address this issue. So, within the space available, packing material that's available, if there is, uh, if they add something, you know, there's some constraint from their angle, I already advise them on this angle also. Like giving the data expiry throughout the streets and also giving it to Tamil also. I have sounded them. At least our Tamil Nadu manager, I already sounded them. I hope some of them will take care of it. Not every drug available in the state suffers from the language disability. Ayurvedic and Siddha medicines carry labels with the medicine name along with the dosage printed in more than one local language. If this practice is implemented for the allopathic medicines too, it will definitely benefit a lot of consumers. In Chennai, Bertila, NDTV Hindu. 
Well, apart from those medicines, the Chennai police uh, have been coming down heavily on rave parties and drug users. The enterprising ones, though, are finding newer and ingenious ways to fuel their drug frenzy. The new destination for users and partygoers is the World Wide Web, where drugs are available very easily and shipped securely. Everything from LSD to cocaine to ecstasy and even ketamine that's so often busted in Chennai. This has now left the cops to now devise ways of tackling this new challenge, the challenge of stopping dangerous internet dope from entering Singara Chennai. At a rave party on Chennai's East Coast Road, youngsters under the influence of drugs dancing the night away to the beats of a Russian DJ. Similar scenes at another bash in the city not long ago. Adrenaline pumping drugs and foot stomping high BPM music. Mercifully, these are not too common in Chennai because the police claim to have been monitoring the party drug scene. Don't get hard tricks nowadays. And even what little is brought in, it will be sort of adulterated mixed with a lot of other substances and made to appear as a hardcore drug. So, peddling is very few. I don't think there's any peddling as far as Chennai city is concerned uh, in terms of hard drugs. But look at this and you will realize how the Chennai police is being outwitted by desperate drug users. On the internet, order any drugs from ecstasy to LSD to herbal cocaine to even MDMA. And here's proof. This bottle called Rave contains 20 pills of ecstasy and can be shipped from London at a price of just 20 pounds. Then look at this pink bottle called Coke N, advertising itself as a legal alternative to cocaine but containing similar laboratory chemicals. And this one called Explode built as an alternative to drugs like ketamine, for which Chennai has emerged as a major transit point. What's more surprising is the ease with which they can be ordered, even at discounted rates. Shipping is done in a week. We have not had any instance of ketamine abuse in, in uh, Chennai so far. But whereas its movement towards Southeast Asia has quite increased and uh, I think almost all the agents are doing a good job on that. But is that an illusion? Considering the online trade of hardcore drugs that often goes undetected, not only is the Chennai police worried, police departments across the world are now thinking of ways to curb the proliferation of internet trade in Class A drugs. But while the police grope for a solution, the racket goes on with impunity. Even if the streets of Chennai have been mopped clean of party drugs, it's the internet that party goers are logging into for the next surreptitious bash on East Coast Road. Sai Manish for NDTV Hindu. Well, still ahead on the bulletin, it may be India's national game, but the game of hockey is in quite a miserable state in our country. That's coming up on the other side.